<laughs> and uh, yeah, welcome everyone. So, it's been a good day, a good sunny day. Uh, I'm going to look at a car tomorrow. So a BMW 1 Series. So I don't know anything about BMWs, apart from the fact that they don't indicate, the indicates are indicators are broken. But anyway, good evening. So, oh, Abbott Reserve. Look at that, good evening. 6.5%, these, I mean, to say these are on a four for six, it's ridiculous, isn't it? I mean, it's good, but four for six for that. That, the 1698, and the King. So I'm going to open each one of them. I'm going to um, drink a bit out of each. And then, at about the hour mark, well then we'll do a bit of a taste testing and comparisons and see who's the, who's the real legend, who's the King. See if the King Goblin gets his throne knocked off him. So, second beer of the day. What did I have earlier? Oh, St. Peter's Farmer's Flagon. Absolutely amazing beer. So, here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Obviously made by Green King. Good evening. So, yeah. Starting on the Abbott Reserve. Uh, yeah, made by Green King, um, lovely dark amber pour, um, white head, inch of white head. Oh, the aromas, the aromas are beautiful. So I'll read what it says on the back. Abbott Reserve from the Master Brewers of Abbott Ale comes this super premium beer, Abbott Reserve. Brewed in limited quantities, this is an exceptional treat for that special occasion. Abbott Reserve is a distinctive, full-bodied, smooth and mature beer, bursting with rich fruitcake and toffee flavours. I think it must be the thing. The Abbott's in your hand. So, I'll put it there. Yeah, I wonder about that. Yeah, I do like this from Green King. This is decent. Good evening as well. Oh, the aroma, you can get the fruitcake aromas, can't you? Malty, fruitcake, rich. Oh, let's dive in. Oh, I mean, I love Abbott Ale. It's nice. But this... This is uh, exceptional. And good evening to you both. Mm. It is. It's uh, to say it's a supermarket beer, mass produced. I don't. Good evening. I don't know why they say it's only made in limited quantities. Who believes that rubbish? I mean, <laughs> let's be fair. It's like you say. It's in every supermarket, every every Tesco's. Uh, yeah, limited. Yeah. I've been into Tesco's today, no cloud water beers at all. Although, Derby, apparently, cloud water. So, Shande, yeah. I ain't even, I ain't even had a hard day on the road. Bless you. <laughs> Good evening, Norman. <laughs> um, His name's Danny, by the way, it's not Norman, but. Good evening. I, know, I I find that ridiculous. Yeah, in Derby, the cloud new cloud water beers are in Derby. Has any has anybody ever been to Lord's Brewing? They do um, a six can uh, pack for social media and press, and then you pay for ten quid. And then you pay six pound delivery, so sixteen fifty for six beers. Uh, I'm thinking again. It. Oh God, yeah. I try and get every new beer I can. You know, when I see it, I get it if I can afford it. Obviously, I'm um, going to be a couple of grand light tomorrow if if I get the new car that I'm looking at. No, my my one didn't. 
there was a lad next to it as well with a with a trolley and i look i went through his trolley just to make sure there's none on the trolley because I, I would have uh, ripped them open and uh, just took one of each i've done that in morrison's before there was a trolley on the aisle and um they hadn't actually dressed them on and i went i'm looking at a bmw one series never had one before i mean i know the indicators are an issue yeah I might, I might go for it i know john i've seen john i've seen him on um um real ale craft beers feed simon's feed i'll bet they'll be here soon they'll be here soon i'm all good till next week really They're above average prices for the market. Hmm. Paulana, bless you. Nice beer. On a free for five at Tesco's as well. You just, yeah, I've seen him on Simon's. Good evening. Ah, we're only just getting warmed up. So we're on the Abbott Ale and, you know, it is, it is an exceptional beer. I mean, six for 16.50 because you've got an Instagram or, or a, a YouTube channel. That's not a bad price, really. And uh, it's going to get um, coverage from me anyway when I actually review them. Love the aroma and the taste. They pour a bit more out. I had anything to eat. Slipped a right crisp left at home. Tesco five litre keg. Oh, bless you. Good evening. Log jam smash. Yeah, it's um, basically it's six of their. <laughs> no. <laughs> six. Basically, if you go in on their shop, if you put your name, if you put your channel in, and that, then and then pay for it, and uh, apparently you get six different beers, ten quid, six pound fifty delivery. So you're paying sixteen fifty. And but that's not too bad for six beers. Good evening. So we're starting off on the Abbott. Let me just put them on the camera so you can see it. And uh, yeah, it's a lovely fruity start, 6.5%. It does kind of hit the spot rather nicely. So I'm gonna drink half now of each, one after the other. Then about the hour mark, you had the grated Stilton. It's amazing, isn't it? It's a, it's a true game changer. They do promo codes as well. Oh, might be able to get it a bit cheaper. You never know. If he sees my name, he might, he might chuck a couple extras in. You never know. It's always worth a punt, isn't it? I mean, St. Peter's did that for me. I bought their Discovery box. And then the week later, they actually sent me six more that I hadn't got or hadn't reviewed before. So someone from them, and uh, it is a good, strong beer, isn't it? Someone from St. Peter's had actually gone through all my reviews and sent me the ones I was missing. Good evening. Thank you. Best tap room in Nottingham. I think Neon wrapped him up something to say. <laughs> well, yeah, there is that. There is that worry. About charging extra. <laughs> I haven't seen Slurpee's video yet. No. That farmer's flag on absolutely blew me away. I looked at it and thought, well, it's pretty standard. I'll get the review out of the way. And it was amazing. Yeah, he's dropped another parody of me, I think. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think it's of me. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think it's about me prune juice wine. Yeah. God, let's hope he hasn't got any fake turds or something. You know, I can see that happening. I really can. 
Good evening. God, you've actually shown up on, on my laptop first. Ah, there we go. Yeah, it's, 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 it's a prune wine parody. I'm, I'm good with that. And you know, he really, what but what Slurpee needs to do to bump his own channel up is, is actually put him on his own channel. And then whoever he gets the parody of, they link to his channel. Here he is, the good man himself. <laughs> Round one. Just as you said that, he's in the background. <laughs> You're four pints in already. Jesus. Yeah. I think he's watching in the background, waiting, personally. So loving the aromas, you know, uh, the taste from this. Beautiful. Happy birthday for this weekend. 50, eh? Bless you. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be celebrating my birthday that much. Although, it, it, I may be celebrating quite a bit, the looks of things. And we're going all the way down to Southampton as well. And hopefully in a new car. Can't be any worse than our Skoda. You've had eight beers. Eh? And here's me. This is my second beer of the day. Second. Second day. Yeah. That side's taking a while to catch up. I'll keep reading this side. So. That's six beers in. Ah. I did see the pie video. We'll get the link in. Um, it's funny, you know. I messaged me brother. Good evening. Yeah, well, tea bags, tea is, is is a way of getting tannins as well. So just for a darker colour, there might be other people on here who can answer that better than me, because there's quite a few home brewers amongst us. So yeah, I'm not, um, you're on number four. God, I'm a proper, I finish work at half one. Tad's birthday. Yeah, yeah. As for the tea bagging, the own brew cider tea bagging. That sounds wrong, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. I, f I messaged my brother to say, ask him, ask him to ask his uh, father-in-law about a car, because you know, buying cars, it's such a, it's such a worry, isn't it? You know, you buy a car and you don't know what you're buying. You're always buying somebody else's crap. Well, we're going to have a look at my brother's BMW tomorrow. So it's a 59 plate, BMW 1. It's diesel, 110k on the clock, which is nothing for a diesel. Uh, it's in perfect condition, 12 months MOT. Um, Ferda Heineken, just lager. Um, yeah, it looks, in, it looks in really good nick. Yeah. I mean, people, the son-in-law was saying that um they're a bit they go through the oil a bit but who knows i, I don't know and uh, i suppose like any car cars cost you know i mean it's just gone through the mot with nothing well i've told him i've only got two thousand and uh we can go a bit more but you know i don't really want to go much further if i can help it and uh he's got away with loads over the years Who's pissed? No one's ever teabagged me. They get every, they'd, they'd, they won't live to regret it. They'd live to regret it rather. I know, I know the I know the family member thing. Yeah. We bought a car for friend a friend a friend of the father in law. It ended up being a right shitty car. It did. Joseph Holt's brown ale. That got me steaming the other night. Absolutely steaming. <laughs> to tell you the truth, you know, because I've been doing four beer reviews in 
every night near enough. The wall's been taken an absolute pounding. This is the first one at the moment, and good evening. So this is the first one I've tried, and then I'm gonna jump onto the vest. So I'm gonna save the other half for later for a, a, a proper comparison. Yeah, it is a good start. So 1698, good evening. And uh, yes, I need to do a Broughton Brewery. Yeah, I do. So I have cleaned my glasses tonight, today, but I need to take them up the house. The cold water doesn't get them looking, oh bloody hell. <clears throat> Not the best, Paul. So, old oh, jock, I keep hearing this. Yeah, we're gonna keep, we'll probably keep it for five years. It is another 6.5% ale, slightly darker, slightly darker, only slightly darker than the uh, Abba Ale. In fact, there's not much in it, really. Yeah, it is not the greatest pour, is it? I've not, never been the king of pouring. I'll read what it says on the back for those who don't know anything about um, old, old crafty. And uh, yeah, there's no to read there. So, aroma of toffee and raisins. <laughs> that sounds nice. Uh, taste is toffee malt combined with dried fruit for complex richness. And then it says, uh, our master brewer uh, has created a premium, God, the writing's small, even with this, vintage oat beer, which delivers the oak-aged fruity, raisiny notes from Old 5X, don't know what that is, with the lighter molten toffee of Old Speckled Hen, Old 5X. I've not heard of that one before. Elegance and mystery and amazing with cheese. Cheese grommet. So yeah, there's the crafter. You've got free homebrew kits for your birthday. What's the homebrew kits? Let me just catch up on the uh, comments. That side's well behind. Hmm. I keep missing the comments. My, my laptop's a bit behind at the moment. Nothing though. So yeah, lovely pour. Slightly darker than the Green King Abbott. Bermondsey Citrus IPA by Fourpure. Not sure. Not sure. If I've, if I've to what Toyota Avensis. I, I I don't care for you know I, I for me all I want to do um I need to get some wine yeast yeah. Might need to get the uh, go get the wife to go buy a Wilco's tomorrow. Just pick some wine yeast. Good evening. So yeah, it's still it's still fermenting. It's been bubbling away today, you know, because it's been warmer in the house. But I think I'm going to put some wine yeast in just to make sure I get through all the sugar. Yeah. And then um, when my money starts to get topped up again, when I've got past the car saga, um, I'm going to go out and get uh, a couple of white beer kits. I think. I'm going to keep off the wine. Yeah. Yeah. I, I class these as more winterish beers. Yeah, darker. But they're such classics, aren't they? Good evening. And they're such classics. You can't, they, you know, for four, four for six quid, one pound fifty. Now, if these were in a craft in a tin at 6.5%, you'd be paying five to six pounds each. Aroma. Now, I thought the aroma on the Abbott was more in your face. A bit more muted, this aroma. 
Yeah, they very much are classics. Oh. There's definitely something more. I like old oh, nutty and I do. Oh, come on, computer. Keep missing comments. One does apologise. I'll catch up in a minute when the computer decides to uh, work. Bloody thing. A honey IPA. Ooh. I like these ales all year round as well. You know, it's... Um, it's funny about tasting nuts, isn't it? Hey, oh, the... They're trying to reconnect me on 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 the on the YouTube chat. Fucking time. <clears throat> I find this. I don't know if Mr. Goat said if or anybody else who's drinking this, if anybody else is, I find this slightly more of a um a finer drink than the Green King Reserve. It's good to experiment with beer kits. It's what it's all about. Get a core beer kit like your Wilco's and experiment. Oh, which one? Which are the which are the bit the Craftworks ones then? Not the um, yeah. It is. It's it's. There's a finer element on the taste. IPA Spire. All oh, right. I mean, it's good that they're getting your own brew kits. I might say that to my family. You know, go and get me some own brew kits. Because it's all good. Or go and get me some an order from a brewery that I've not had before. So I can... It is, yeah. It's more land brewery, but it's all Green King. Old Speckled Den. It wipes the floor with Old Speckled. Old Speckled Den is, is nice. It's a nice traditional beer. Um, old Crafty N. Like it says on the back, it's actually a blend of Old Speckled and Old and old 5X. I've never had 5X, so I don't know what that is. Um, yeah, broadside's okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's if you like Old Speckled, this is the next, you know, if Old Speckles is one of yours that you really like, yeah, yeah, it must, I, I've never heard of 5X, unless it was, unless it was years ago, Jobby. Although Green King's Mild is exceptional. It really is. Yeah. It, truly, truly a very decent beer. Hmm. I'm going to do an Adnams night soon. It is Green King Mild. Oh, for a 3% beer. Oh, right. Only the brewers. <sighs> Might have to email, message Green King and say, any chance of me getting that 5X for review purposes? Yeah. Sometimes you have to push the button, don't you? You know, just say, look, I think I'm going to have to start doing that. When I start getting more subscribers. 12.5%. Ah. You see, sometimes it's good reading the bottle, isn't it? A broadside burger. <laughs> no, not yet. No. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's funny, you know. It's funny because... My mate, he's cheekier than me. He's proper cheeky. And Sadler's did a post. And then I posted about on there. And he turned around to them and says, Raggy rev reviews all your beers. You ought to send him a couple of um, brewery tour tickets. And what did they do? They actually sent me two two tickets for a brewery tour. And I, I would never be cheeky enough to do it. But they they actually did it, you know. So... It was it was good. It, you know, somebody else being cheeky on my behalf actually got it. And uh, 
yeah, it is. It's, it's I'm not brave enough to do that sort of stuff. You know, I, I don't. I just I'm not really that cheeky. You know, and uh, broadside. Yeah, broadside. If I was doing a five, broadside would have dumped in. Good evening, Ash. As long as no one's called Ivor Biggin and he and he wants he wants me to say hello. <clears throat> Tally ho, I've not seen that. Good evening. <laughs> Is that what you're on tonight? Broadside versus See, you've got old Tom as well. <sighs> you know, sometimes you have to you have to do these things, don't you? You can see for miles, it can. <laughs> Oh, is it in Southwold? Oh, near Adnams then. Ah, right, yo. It would be right up my alley as well. 7.2%. <sighs> you know, if I'm going to theme parks around the country, when I start going, um, I will be taking some cash with me, or hopefully, and uh, popping in to try and go to local breweries and pick up some Chelsea Beat Man City. <laughs> Is that the semi-final? And pick up beers from around the country. 6X again. 6X is top class. And you know, a lot of people who are traditional beer fa uh, craft beer fans, if, if they craft only, pardon my French, if they're craft only, they're missing out on the traditional beers that are still amazing beers. Ah, right, yo. Is it Leicester versus Southampton in the other semi-final? I mean, I'm no Leicester fan, but I'd like to see an, 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 an East Midlands team in the final and winning it. Sex is top class. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Can't fault you there. Missed, I missed a double order. Well, you can't fault that, can you? Sometimes it's good to be cheeky. I need to learn to be a little bit more on the cheeky side. I do, I do. you know. I suppose that's where, when you look at somebody like Simon from Real Ale Craft Beer, I bet if he asked a lot of these, because of his 50,000 subscribers or near that anyway, um, he'll get stuff sent all the time for free because it's all good. It's all good promotion for the, for the uh, companies. I suppose so. Anyway, so loving this um, nice old crafty. Yeah, 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 it's good beer. Um, second beer of the day. Well, third if you count the fact that I've drank half. Broughton Brewery sent you some stuff as well. Good on you. In fact, when I put my order into them, I'm going to say this. Um, I'm coming to you because I do beer reviews on YouTube and a good friend of yours told me to come to you and I'll put your name in. I'll say his name's Norman. It is nice, isn't it? Smooth, easygoing, nice. <laughs> Grimbergen triple. I'm waiting for Lidl to get them Belgian um ask for some glasses. Yeah, I might I might be cheeky. Yeah. Yeah, I don't do sucking up though, that's my thing, you know. Um no. Triple knot. What's triple knot from them? What what um what's that? I'll manage the four, don't you, Robbie? I've got a Chinese coming afterwards, so I'll, I'll, I'll do the four, go up the house, off steaming, Chinese. A triple 10%. <sighs> yeah, I think, I, think you've, I think I'm going to have to grow some balls in that department. Same with like the local breweries and, uh, you know.
Yeah. <laughs> so that is beer too. Enjoy that. Good evening. So we're on to beer free. And for those who came uh, later, uh, what it, what I'm doing, ignore the glass. It is clean. It's, it's spotlessly clean. It's just that when I've washed it, it's not dried properly. I'm drinking half of each beer just to get a taste, see how they go. Then when I get to the hour mark or round about the hour mark, depends, I'm then going to do a taste test of all the beers together. And uh, it's going to be interesting because um, try and pick out which legend, legend is the best. So we're on to 1698. <sighs> yeah, 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 many times. Good beer. No, I like it anyway. I'll have to do a McEwen's night one night as well. Try and get free beers. I'm not sure McEwen's do free, to be honest. The fuck this. I want to do Tesco Lager Shandy or Man's Beer. Stop that. Yeah. Although, I do like their Christmas ale. Their Christmas ale is rather nice. So... I'll read, I'll read the back for those who don't know anything about this beer. Good afternoon. Have they? What's the beers? Alcohol free now. Oh, I saw that. Let's <coughs> swear at me. So, yeah, 1698 bottle conditioned. I didn't know it was bottle conditioned. Kentish Strong Ale is a living product which can continues to ferment in the bottle no shit this creates a natural sediment just like real ale as it ferments in the cask at the pub only local hops malted barley glucose syrup and water drawn from our artesian well are used to brew 1698 bottle conditioned Kentish strong ale Hops are added three times, hence it is thrice hopped. It is Shepherd meme, yeah. Uh, nothing yet, no. Um, I think the wife's going to do it on the sneaky for me. So you see Auburn. So for me it's dark amber, but they call it Auburn, so yeah. You smell roasted, fruity and oppy. Let's do the, let's do the smell. I'm going to pour half a glass of each and then do a, do the taste test and see which comes out the best on aroma, taste and so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm getting a hint of roasted, a hint of fruit, not really getting the hoppy. The taste is rich and fruity and warming. So I'll put the bottle down before one drops it. Bloody hell, I can feel it already. Feeling half tanked already. Not me. That stupid chat's gone off again. So if I've missed chats, I do apologise. Great Ed. That's what she said. Um, yeah, so Auburn. Or even good. Good evening. San Miguel. Lovely. You know, every beer, every lager has its place. On a sunny day like today, lagers are king. You know, it's not always about, it's not always about craft beers and, you know, and top class beers. It's about whatever hits that spot on the day you're drinking it. Although, the Tesco's San Miguel apparently is the 5.4% version, I think. Bullman will probably know more than me. And, um... That's the better version of San Miguel, apparently. Homebrew lager. Oh, bless you. I mean, when I'm in Spain, San Miguel and Estrella. Oh, God. They just they just hit the spot so much. And so easy to, you know, 
to go down the hatch. Brilliant. Yeah. That chat's gone off again. Crappy laptop. On the nose, not really getting a lot on the nose. Tesco's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait till the cloud water stuff comes in as well. I mean, all depends if you if you if you believe the hype of cloud water and brew dog. I don't. I don't really give one because I don't look. I don't look down at any beer. You know, beers are beers. You know, I don't really care for names. Names don't impress me. It's what it tastes like. That's all that impresses me. Banks's Lager. Yeah, yeah, I've drank Banks's Lager before. It's all right. Twice as nice. No, that's shit. <laughs> I like low-cost beer. I do. And th their draft beer range is exceptional. Cus Campo. I've not had that. No. And if there's one thing about the beer world, there's always something that you've never tasted. I mean, even in Nottingham, there's beers that I've never, ever tasted and probably never will. The likes of Neon Raptor are releasing two or three new beers a week. You just can't keep up. It's impossible. Um, so supermarket, really. Supermarket beers, at least in supermarkets, you know that you, you should be able to get hold of that beer for, for a while at least. Again, um, fruity, rich aroma. Now it's started to warm up. It's gotten better. How's the job, garden job getting on? Yeah, it's going great. You know, we really need warm weather and we need rain. But we need rain overnight, not in the daytime. We want the sunny weather and then the rain overnight. That's the best. It's... That is that is why when I'm doing reviews, I toss it up between traditional, local and craft because you'll find that a hell of a lot of craft, they're all IPAs. I can't let you know at the moment, but I can see your message. I can see, I can see your message, Darren. But I can't let you, I can't see a private message or anything like that. Hundreds of new beer offers every week. Yeah, yeah. God, you'd have to be some drinker to get through them. Yeah, overnight rain. Oh, my God. One, it would go in further. Two, it would, the sun in the day would warm it up. Rain at night. It would be, it's the perfect ecosystem. It is. There's no better. Good, the good dollar per rain overnight. You can taste licorice. Your taste buds are bloody bang on. I do taste licorice. I get the rich. I do get the rich and fruity. I don't get the fruitcake aromas like I got with the other two. Um, they're quite different. It's, it's slightly different to those other two. Obviously, another good, strong beer, nonetheless. Yeah, San Miguel, probably that. All these were from Tesco's on a four for six quid. Four for six quid for four absolute bloody legends. I mean, Jesus Christ, you can't fault it, can you? I'm mixing four beers together. Oh my God. I'm going to be steaming come about half seven or even half eight. 20 to 8 now, so it's fucking, I've already gone past half seven. In Spain, to be honest, where I go in Spain, it's all Estrella. Um, I go to Catalonia. Roll on half eight. <laughs> are you still around? Are you still drinking outside, Greg? Out of curiosity, are you still outside on, in the pub? Oh, 
all dents of cans of beer. Can't fault you, mate. You can't fault it. Oh, you're indoors now, bless you. It's starting to get a bit cool now. Oh, back home then. Indoors at home. May the 17th. Oh, them beers you got quite cheap. Yeah, yeah, they were good, they were. I need to put money aside. I need to have a, a money a beer kitty for, for beers. In my um hotel in two thousand I think it was two thousand and nineteen as well. Yeah, I think it was 2019. We had um, Estrella on tap. Oh, dear. Mallorca. I've been to Mallorca. That was all right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, definitely barbecue season. I need to um, I need to get a gas bottle and start doing the old barbecues. Fucking catch up. <clears throat> Headspace, yeah, that little hint of whiskey in there just catches up nicely. Cretan beer in Crete, not had that before. No, no, that's a new one on me. Yeah, that licorice. Oh, yeah. You know, sometimes it's just nice to get a beer. Drink it, swill it round in your mouth and try and pick out those flavours. You did well if you're drinking outside in, in shorts. Jesus, it's been a bit Baltic at night, to be fair. And uh, hopefully the, the, we start getting some decent warm weather. Oh, you're not working Monday? Bless you. Eat some barbe, get the steaks on, get the own brew out, get neck in. Oh, isn't that nice, eh? May the 17th is going to be amazing. You know, to go and have a, a, a meal inside a restaurant. Um, in Drink inside pubs. Most pubs will be reopening, even with social distancing. Stuff the social. I've, I've been past pubs today. And on the outside, no one social distancing. No, this is 1698. You're drinking Fuller's. This is Shepherd Neem. Although Fuller's, exceptional beer. Exceptional beer. It's malty. Um, it lasts for a long time. And in fact, in some ways, I get a breadiness from it. Don't ask me why. Oh, come on, internet. Catch up. Toffee cream. There is a toffiness to it. You know, it's been, it's been an interesting concept with beers to have on the back of the bottle um, a load of like a, a like a, a paragraph with flavors that you may or you may not get. Um, and uh, be interesting because sometimes you get a taste that you can't quite um, pick out, and then you look and you're tasting it, and you think so. That does taste like that. 
and without cheating, obviously, as well. <clears throat> so, on to the fourth. I definitely got ta I definitely got toffee from it. It didn't get bitter all the way though. It is amazing, yeah. I am. I, um, I mean, I've been on a wine tasting course with Sainsbury's, the boss of Sainsbury's uh, tasting department, and uh, we were tasting uh, port and Stilton, and um, it was amazing. The it was amazing how many flavours people were getting. There was 12 of us in the room and everyone was getting something different. And it really was amazing the difference in taste. You only have to look at the likes of Beer Advocate, the, you know, the aggregate review website. And um, some of the taste people get you like, I can't taste that. And then you try and taste it. And sometimes, maybe, maybe it's, it, it would be an interesting, no, not mackerel, fuck's sake. Maybe it would be an interesting concept to have like a, like a box there that says, can you taste with a load of different elements in just to see if people can taste it. Like a challenge in some ways. So the glass is clean. It looks manky, but it is clean. But... The glasses, the glasses. I need to take them up the arse and sort them. So, on to the king. The king. A fig, sausage and marmite taste. <laughs> Finish. I can remember when this came out back in, you know, whenever it was, 2013. Uh, I think it was. King Goblin. Oh. And to be fair, back in the day, King Goblin had a better label. I don't like this label, but, you know. So, darkest of the pores. Um, a chestnutty coloured paw, I think. Mahogany, I don't know. Mahogany chestnut. Big white head, as you can see. <clears throat> I'll read the back. For those who don't know anything about this beer. Tasting department, yeah. So... The king of legends, the king, the king has returned. Deep ruby, ruby, yep, so I was wrong, in colour with aromas of treacle toffee, treacle toffee. Let's see if we can get treacle toffee. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? It would be interesting. Rebottled beer, see if I can taste the beer. <laughs> Try and be sober. Fuck you now, you'll be lucky. Um, uh, treacle toffee and dried fruits brewed with a blend of the finest, the finest crystal and chocolate malts and the addition of sovereign hops. Packed full of sweet caramel, coffee and earthly roasted malt flavours. For a warming seal of approval. 6.6% as we know. So yeah, the darkest of the beers. We're going down Dark Avenue here. We're going, we're going dark. Deep dark. What did that miss? That salad's gone shit again. Fucking hell. So yeah, dark ruby. I was thought it was mahogany or chestnut myself. But hey, uh, whitehead. 49 minutes in. Um, I'm looking at a car tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you're necking it already? Bless you. So anyway, not a lot on the nose. Hey, oh, I'm catching up now. And Cheers. Lord of Eva, I can remember when they came out. It was embarrassing, wasn't it? And the old Skodas. Fucking hell. I 
I can get the treacle toffee. I can, I can get. The... <laughs> um, I definitely can get that treacle toffee off it. In fact, the treacle toffee is dominating at the moment. You'll be steaming tonight. You'll be, you'll be, you'll be, you'll be doing stuff on camera to your 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 girl, the lady, and uh, I've not had it on cask. No, I've not had it on cask. There is, you do get that molasses vibe from it as well, you know, because of the, the thickness of it. And, uh, oh my God, I can feel myself starting to, um, oh. I'm feeling wankered already. There's Hobgoblin, there's King Goblin, and I think that's all for the... Uh... <laughs> oh dear. Thirsty Ferret, bless you. Badger. Do make some nice beers, to be fair. I'm glad me and Goatee are going down the set. Yeah, Hobgoblin. What have they done to Hobgoblin? Uh, Dino from Dean's Beer Reviews. He was slating Hobgoblin massively. Oh. I didn't. What's the forest result? I didn't see it. Yes, I'm, I am going to do a beer review or two on my birthday. Whether they're live or not, I'm not sure. I don't know until the day. I know, fucking hell, steaming. Oh, God, this is it, mate. I've, I've been all right all the way through. And then all of a sudden, it's like, oh. Are they lost? Oh, for fuck's sake. You see, I've only drank half of each and uh, already I'm feeling tanked. Oh. <laughs> Fucking hell, you are pissed. You're pissed already. 50 in May. Get yourself um, <clears throat> a Brewmeister Snake Venom. Yeah. But don't fucking drink a lot of it because you'll be steaming. You will be steaming. No, 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 there's no chance on God's green. I've put them all in one glass. No. So. Oh. That was exceptional. Oh. Bloody hell. I'm feeling it now. So basically, I've had two pints and I feel steaming. Fucking steaming on two pints. What's that about? I mean, really? The black one? What black one are you on about? Oh, so Huddersfield beat Nottingham Forest then, did they? 
Huddersfield. That's from that's um, Lord's Brewery. They're in Huddersfield. Four, it's got some kick in the bollocks. That has. So, time to do some taste testing. I'm about five minutes early, but um, there we go. So, I'm going to pour them all out. Your cheeks are on fire. Hey, just make sure it's not your cheeks. <clears throat> so, we're two pints in out of four. Two pints in? Jesus Christ. Two miles away, John. Yeah, he, he's he's a good lad, isn't he? I've seen him on a few uh, of Simon's um, lives. He's a good lad. So here we go. Don't fuck me. Your nickname's Kojak. You got a lot of air then. Good evening, Thomas. So one does apologise if one sounds drunk. You know, this is a problem with doing beer reviews because at some stage you're going to sound like a twat. And uh, do I ever care? No, I fucking don't. You know, <clears throat> never did, never will. There you go. So I've got the four beers in front of me. I've got the beers next to the glasses. So we're going to do an aroma test. Which has got the best aroma? So. <laughs> yeah, I do apologise. Don't drink more than you can handle, matey. You sound like a twat. Hey, yeah, you're not the one on fucking camera. So, I've just smelt the abbot. I've just smelt the abbot. Get in. Mm. I've just smelt the, um, yeah, old crafter. And I've just smelt the 1698 and now on to the, um, well, to be fair, right, King Goblins are, are the, um, yeah, I've sniffed the abbot, get in. Yeah, fuck it, yeah, you got to get drunk, haven't you? And if you're not, if you're not talking like a twat, what's this about twats? Twats are useful, very much so. <laughs> So at the moment, King Goblin's out of the question. King Goblin is not the best on the nose. I am like a kid in the sweet shop, definitely. Right, one minute. Right, strangely enough, on the nose. Abbott is the king on the nose. Would you believe? Would you believe? You don't want a goblin on your nose. Yeah, get in. <clears throat> but anyway, yeah. Abbott Ale has the best nose of the four beers. So, let's start tasting. Oh, dear. Fucking hell. We're gonna get pissed. There we go. So on the taste. Oh, it's got some that's some bloody good taste that is. It is. Good evening, Liam. Fucking hell. Right, 16.98 has fell at the first hurdle. On taste, Old Crafty and Abbott beat 16.98. Just by the, by the strength of the taste. We'll jump onto the, um, I've got King Goblin now. I'm feeling tanked. Fucking hell. Good evening, Disco. Hope you're well, matey. No. Oh. Fucking hell. Oh, God. Mix 
mixing beers is not good. So, 1698 has fell at the taste test. Um, it's between King Goblin, Old Crafty and Abbott. Remember that all four beers are exceptional beers. Where is goat? Are you, are you okay, mister? So, I'll whittle it down to the three. I mean, let's be fair, all four beers are amazing beers. Bloody hell, King Goblin has fell at the hurdle. So, on taste, good evening. You love, you love us all? Jesus. <clears throat> so, strangely enough, on, 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 taste test between all four of them um old crafty n versus abbott green king beers how strange is that that is ridiculous be interesting to see what you if you're doing the same as me go ahead dave um What's your favourite or beer on the nose? What's your favourite beer on the taste? Just out of curiosity against each other's. Um, I'm now down to two. Abbott and um, Old Crafty M. Let's... Oh, yeah, you've got to bounce between the two. No one wants to see all, all craft. No one wants to see all draft. Uh, traditional. They are very similar. I'll have to have another one. Yeah, it probably will get more carbonated with time. And obviously... When you secondary ferment it, that will help as well. That's when you'll get the full carbonation, when you secondary ferment it. You know, it's not always about, the first fermentation is about turning sugar into alcohol. <clears throat> Fucking hell, I sound pissed. And uh, I sound fucking pissed. And uh, on the secondary fermentation, it's about adding, adding, fucking hell, the um, carbonation. Yeah. But don't add, don't add too much sugar. You're pissed. Yeah, I'm not fucking surprised. You know, drinking all four together, it's very interesting. King Goblin, for me, was the winner all the way along. But tonight... <laughs> Tonight, oh, right, we'll try again. Uh, usually two teaspoons full. Okay. Taste test, 16, Old Crafty N rather, Old Crafty N tastes better than the other four on, on a review of all four together. Right, thank fuck that's over. Right, let's get necking. Fuck it, hey. Oh, God. And uh, 
Mr. Goathead. Here we go. Jesus. I'm fucking steaming. I need some glasses. Let me get my glasses. One minute. Fucking hell. Hey, that's us. <laughs> to be fair. I know I look a cunt. But to be fair. I can see the screen a lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting a red card. Um, I've not had old crafty in a can, to be fair. Uh, Elton John. Yeah. Up the co-op. <clears throat> but yeah. Jimmy Savile, fucking Jimmy Savile. I, you know, if I met, if 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 I could go back in time and meet Jimmy Savile, I'd give that cunt such a good hiding. Yeah, he'd be he'd be on his fucking knees by the time I'm done. But anyway, I'd love to do the I'd love to do more hen comparisons. You can't get them though. Nutty hen, old tooth, old old tooth hen, if that's what it is. Um, spooky N. Oh God, it'd be lovely to do a comparison. I think most beers taste better on cask than in a bottle, normally at least. Oop. You never know, do you? So, hi Gemma, yes one does apologise for profanity, yes, especially me. Good evening, evening as well, uh, very well, half tanked, um, I've drank four different strong beers, and to be honest, mixing beers, as you know, is never a good thing. And I'm I'm feeling rather Yeah, the yellow card. Hold on a minute. Uh, oh god. Fucking hell. One minute, I'm getting old. Um <laughs> so yeah, I'm down the beer room, I'm on the yellow card. The yellow card. Um, when I go up the house, well, that might come out, the red card. And uh, although, apologies for the fucking swearing. Yeah, I know, fuck me. <clears throat> One does apologise. Sometimes there's kiddies listening and that, that does worry me, you know. Um, yeah. <laughs> the famous red, you know. It does make me chuckle every single time I look at that and see the red card. It does. It's it's amazing. You know, it is. And this is what beer reviews are about. You know, it's um it's all about community. It's never just about the idiot getting pissed in front of the camera. Um, but it's about people in the background talking, chatting. You know, it's it's there's a lot more to it than you could ever realise. Um, and that's where I feel you bunch of fucking potty mouths. Uh, oh dear. <laughs> but when I hit 2000, I'm, I'm going to do another, um, probably the world's second strongest beer. And that should be interesting. Um, I'll try not to swear. And I'll try to have some dinner beforehand. I have had no dinner tonight. So one does apologise. Who's got a bishop's finger? Dirty bastard. <clears throat> I'm, I've got a Chinese coming. Yeah. Yeah. Dirty bleeder she is. Yeah, I hope she's cooking as well as coming. But anyway. <laughs> yes, profanities. Yes, it's disgusting. Yes, one does apologise for profanities. Yeah, absolutely disgusting these days. 
Sigo. Oh. Don't know where to go with that comment. But anyway, yeah. You know, I think it, uh, it's lovely for me, you know, um, it's kind of strange in the same way that um, <laughs> yeah, fucking hell, curveball there, f threw me off there. I've had a drink, obviously. So that's the last of the Abbott Ale. Oh, yes, I'm feeling it. Back onto the old speckled. And um, I've not heard anything from Goathead for a while. So I do hope he's okay. Four beers, four strong beers is not oh he's beer. Thankful. Um yeah, four strong beers is not easy, you know. And we must always remember this. You know, if you can't drink it, put the bugger down, don't drink it, you know, leave it for a few hours. He's took one for the team, bless him. He's a good lad, yeah. What's that? My Russian bird's back on your, knock your bollock off. <laughs> oh dear. I think he's struggling tonight, bless him. Yeah, it's, um, it's I am struggling. I'm bloody struggling. Never mind goat struggling, I'm struggling. It's not easy to drink four strong beers and mix them up and not have anything to eat as well. A sausage inside a festival. I'd never live that down. Could you imagine going to a sausage inside a festival? Fucking hell. Eh? I could just imagine a lot of people standing there getting out the sausages and going, I've got a big sausage. And uh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, a sausage inside a festival. What's that about a week, man? Yeah. Well, you know, I went to a chip shop once. Good evening. Um, rather tanked, yes. So, um, yeah, I went to a chip shop one day and uh, the wife said to me, I, I want a small sausage. <laughs> and uh, I can't look at the comments because they're making me laugh. And uh, so I went into the chip shop, the girls behind the counter, they knew me. And uh, and I'm sure one of them fancied, or maybe, maybe two of them fancied me, I don't know. I'm, I'm not really that, you know, I'm not blasé enough to think someone fancies me. So, you know, you ask for a bag of chips. Oh, can I have a bag of chips and a, a sausage? And they says, a small sausage. And I said, small sausage. And they put, they pissed out laughing, all three of the girls behind the counter. And I'm there and I'm thinking, fucking hell, that's the last ever time I asked for a small sausage. Fuck it. Never ever ask for a small sausage. Well, the sausage festival. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm never asking for, I'm never going into a chip shop with ladies serving. And asking for small sausage. It, I'm never doing it. Never ever doing it again. The, never. Never doing it again. <laughs> yeah, two small sausages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ought to have done it. Can I have ten small sausages, please? Sausage party, yeah, 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 what a film. Jesus Christ, my five-year-old uh, autistic child, he, he, 
I think it was five anyway. And he put sausage party on. So I'm watching it with him just to make sure it's okay. Next minute, he's on about his length and he's on about this and that. And I'm thinking, fucking hell, get that shit off. You can't be watching that. Funnily enough, for the next year, it was his favourite film. What sausage party? <laughs> 12, 12 year old, fucking hell. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah it's, it's it's a funny film it is yeah the innuendo is absolutely awesome yeah it's it's um oh my god i'm fucking steaming i've still got to finish off two halves yet oh come on Maggie. i can do it so Oh, hell, Dave's still here. Mr. Goethe, that is for everybody else. <laughs> so, we're back on the 1698. I know, you will be fucked up, mate. You know, it's fucking me up. And uh, I haven't had no dinner yet. I'm, I'm, I'm well tanked, yeah. I can I can really really feel it. Pissed up here with you. I see Bullman's out of the way. He'll pop on about half seven, I reckon. Or oh, half eight even. Thank you. And you know, if you was ever to go out drinking with me, the person you see is the person you would always see. My personality, there's no difference in my personality from the personality. You're nuts, get your nuts in. <clears throat> sorry, Gemma, I want to apologize. <clears throat> I'm sorry, Riven, yeah. Oh, that Chinese is gonna soak up some fucking beer. Yeah, fucking hell, I'm steaming. Two pints. Four beers is two pints. Let's remember that. It's only two fucking pints. And I'm feeling steaming on two pints. Definitely. So you're getting nuts, are you? Right, let's see if I get nuts as well. All right. Nuts on the agenda. Fucking hell. Oh, steaming. I'm in mean, for such a shit old bollocking. No, licorice for me, funnily enough. Yeah, you never know. You never know. Oh. Jesus. And I've still got. Yeah, you're not far away from the Vagaf. Any weekend, you're welcome, mate. You're only, you're only a, a, a stone's throw. Bring the family. The wife can drive home. Or they, they, don't tell your wife that, obviously. I don't want to get a bollock in. <clears throat> but yeah. He's dropped his nuts. Fucking hell. <clears throat> My nuts are all right. It's the guts you want to worry about. You know, drinking four different beers. Oh my God, I can't even see the fucking writing. Do I know Ratty from Mappley? No, no, I don't, sorry. No. Nosy neighbours. I try not to. Um, I just ignore the bastards. <clears throat> I want to apologise for profanity. Pigskins. <laughs> yeah. oh. Oh. This is going to be... Oh, Jesus. This is going to be one of them steaming reviews. Because I am steaming. Two pints of steaming. That's ridiculous, isn't it? So, yeah. I had a beer at... Um, what time would it be? Half one. Two-ish. And this is the first beer since 
So basically, yeah, I'm steaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking steaming. Steaming. Get in. And uh, do I care? No. No, no. Never did. Did I give a fuck? No, I don't give a fuck. No. Port scratchings. Bless you. Love port scratchings. My face hasn't gone red. Good on you. Yeah. And the funny thing is, I've still got to drink the king. The king is last on the list. Oh, we're 20 minutes in. One hour, 20. Um, oh. I'm getting such a fucking bollocking when I go up the arse. <clears throat> Yep, I need to walk into the house, sit on the settee and try not to say anything. And especially to not sound pissed. Yes. Um, yes, I was down the shed tonight. I uh, drank a few beers. Yes, yes. I wasn't too drunk, you know. Um, yes, I was trying to be good. <clears throat> Did that sound drunk? God knows. Yeah, 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 fucking am. Well pissed. And to everybody in the background who, who are not who are not commenting, you know, mixing beers is not good. <laughs> um, mixing four strong beers, oh, it's a killer. Am I bad? Am I bladdered? Hell fucking yes. Should have been a sailor. No, no. That, uh, sailors, you know, they like a bit of, um, you know, a bit of uh, action. Not my sort of action. Elton John. Elton John, fuck. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Steaming, fucking steaming. Oh, dog shit with you? No chance. Fucking hell. I'll be asleep before 10 o'clock. Mixing beers. Fucking hell. Deadly. I lean over. <laughs> Yeah. The most silliest thing I've done when I'm drunk. Fucking hell. Um, God knows. God knows because um, when I'm drunk, I don't give a shit. And, uh, you know. I've had my cock out on the, on, the, on the middle of a path in the Arboretum before. Yeah. Luckily, the part was empty. But did I give a fuck? No, I didn't. <clears throat> anyway. <sighs> oh. So, the last of the beers, and uh, am I steaming? Um, yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The bell. I know, I do apologise. Too much info, one does apologise. Quick wee wee break, because Hour and 25 minutes in, I can't hold it. You love the bell, bless you. How are you still commenting? Yeah. Oh, steaming, steaming. Oh.
<clears throat> oh dear, oh dear. Fucking hell, I'm going for a bowl like an iron. Um, you fell asleep in the girls' toilets? Dirty bleeder. Hey? Hey. Hey. What's that? Ah, lovely. One had to go. One had to go. Yes, definitely. I was doing a bit of jet washing. Yeah. Jet washing the uh, grass. <laughs> so. Oh. Surprising. The king wasn't the king tonight. And yet normally... Um, if I was looking at these four beers, the king would be the king. <laughs> um, oh dear, steaming. I'm going to have to do, um, you know, the wife's not going to be happy when I go up the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On 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 the nose, I think it was... Was it 1698 was the king? And then Old Crafty was the king on the on the taste. Which is really surprising because um, if I was rev reviewing these beers, um, King Goblin would have won all day long. Which is really weird. So it's, it is strange. It's strange when you compare four against each other to how they become. One does apologise for A, profanity. Two, being pissed you're feeling sleepy i wish i could sleep and get away with it fucking hell i've got up the house yet the bollocking's coming i can feel it i can feel it it's like it's like it's coming down the path and seeping into the bear room it's like a wall of bollocking it's like you're in for a shit storm of bollocking you twat It's daft, isn't it, that four beers, two pints, two pints. Let's remember that. It's only two pints, not even two pints of beer can get you pissed. It's ridiculous. It is ridiculous. And as Harry Potter would say, ridiculous. Um, yeah. So six quid can get you steaming. How, how's that? You know? One must remember, when you pay six or more quid for a pint, that six quid can get you pissed. Two litres, yeah. Two litres, but two litres is not a pint. It's not two, It's not four pints. It's um, 2.5, near enough. 2.5 litres is, is, is actually four pints. Ridiculous. It is. My maths is wrong. 568, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so. Run it. Oh. Yeah, my maths is shit. <clears throat> That's what you get for having a drink. Yeah, I've had I've had a three point eight percent beer that I've drank and it's wobbled me and I'm thinking the fuck it's three point eight percent how the hell can a three point eight percent wobble me and this is where um, the world of beer is a strange one you know and this this comes down to your personal what you can drink we're all very different. Um, despite being half, well, half pissed, fucking hell, two thirds, three quarters pissed. Um, but what you can drink depends on, on your personal being, you know. You're going for a spunky tart, bless you. Okay. 
so it's quite nice actually. But yeah, we're all very different and what we can drink differs on person by person. What we can drink, what types we can drink, it all depends. Um, for me tonight, it's been an interesting night. To think that King Goblin would not win on both the aroma and taste was amazing. And yet, looking at all four beers, King Goblin would win. Strange, strange. Right. What is the green bottle bear on the bottom of your shelf? Is that a Grosch? That one? Yeah. I've got a Grosch there. Yeah. Oh, bless you. I do apologise, Dave. You know, for four, four strong fucking supermarket beers takes the shit out of you. It kicks the bollocks out of you. One does apologise, mate. Hope you're well. And uh, as for everyone else, um, thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, liking. And uh, yeah, it's been it's been a good night. It's been enjoyable. It's been different. I'm feeling absolutely fucking pissed. And uh, I've got to go up the house and uh, hopefully won't get a bollocking off the wife. He will sleep well, yeah. I'll sleep fucking well as well. And uh, hopefully there's a Chinese coming because I need beer. I need food to soak up the beer. Lots and lots of food. Lots. Um. Yeah, it's been good. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I feel pissed, but there you go. Job's a good one. And uh, cheers all. It's been an interesting Saturday night. And uh, I do it. My good mate Craig and Harry are having a good night drinking. They're on the booze tonight in Kent. And uh, good on them. Good blokes, both of them. Harry, as in Blue Nose Beer Reviews. Craig, as in Kent, their reviews. Fair play. And uh, Mr. Bullman's not here at the moment, but Bullman, yes, I was steaming. Good on you, mate. And I've, everybody else, cheers all. And uh, I'll see you soon. Cheers. And uh, fucking hell, bollocking's coming. Right, try not to look drunk. That's about my best at looking, looking not drunk. That's until you until you say some shit out of your mouth, and it's like that cunt's drunk. Thank you. And so, see you soon, all. Cheers. Oh God, I'm in for a bollocking, a royal bollocking. Cheers. Oh, I'm Phil. Two fucking pints. Two pints. How can you feel?